Hey guys, what's up? It's Melkle Zunky, and welcome to my Gargoyle Slayer task guide. So Gargoyles are actually really, really good Slayer XP if slain correctly. In this guide, I will be showing the max gear. However, if you don't have the absolute best gear that you can possibly get for killing Gargoyles, that's fine. Everything can be downgraded. The XP will still be very, very good, even if you don't have um, the stats and equipment, the same that I do. Uh, the XP could possibly even be better if you're wearing um, DPS armor instead of the armor that I am wearing. However, I'll go over that a little bit as we move on with the video. So first of all, what you need in your gear and your inventory is uh, your Slayer Helm, obviously. Uh, wear your best magic bonus cape. Uh, so for most cases, that would be a god cape uh, if you don't have a completionist cape. I have a War Priest of Zemrak Kuras. This can be replaced with a Subjugation or Virtus top, or even um, some other kind of magic top like Aram's. Mauritania Legs 4. If you do not have these, uh, wear magic leggings as well, but the Mauritania Legs 4 give 10% bonus Slayer XP while killing in the Slayer Tower, so you definitely want to be wearing these if you have them. And don't worry, they will not affect your magic accuracy. Rage Fire Boots, or you can wear Virtus or Subjugation Boots. War Priest of Zimrat Gauntlets, or Subjugation or Virtus Gauntlets also work well. I have a 6th Aid Circuit, you can replace this with a Seer's Ring. I have a Chaotic Staff, you can replace this with a Staff of Lights, or um, Virtus 1 in Book. I also have a Dragon Rider Amulet, this can be replaced with a um, Magic Boosting Amulet, or a Fury, or the Cerodomen's Murmur, I believe, is the uh, Cerodomen Magic Boosting Amulet, or you can also wear the Arcane Stream Necklace from Dungeoneering. So in my inventory, I have an Extreme Magic Potion. You can wear, use a Super Magic if you don't have Extremes. For a potion, just to use Soul Split for healing. I have a Steel Titan and Steel of Legends Scrolls. If you don't have this, bring an Iron Titan or a Geyser Titan. And if you don't have either of those, um, just bring a Bunny up to heal yourself. It will be a little bit slower without the Steel Titan, though. About 15k Slayer XP per hour slower than with it. Um, so I'd highly recommend to bring the Steel or Iron Titan if you have it. Um, I have runes to cast Water Surge, which is their weakness. Again, their we using their weakness isn't super important here since weakness only affects accuracy, so Air Surge would also work. I have a Rock Hammer. Um, always bring this, this is required to kill the Gargoyles. You also want to buy the ability to instantly kill them from any Slayer Master. A Slayer Contract, which you get at the Slayer Tower. A Gem Bag, because they drop a lot of gems. A Teleport Out and a Charming Imp, so that's everything that you want. Um, so to actually get there, you want to teleport on your Slayer Helm, or if you have just a Slayer Ring, that also works just fine. You can teleport to the Mauritania Slayer Tower. Make sure to grab a contract from the guy outside if you don't have one already. His name's Marcus. He's a pretty nice guy, and he'll give you a contract, which uh, you always want to pick up contract. Again, always remember to kill, if a monster is killable in the Slayer Tower, always kill it in the Slayer Tower. Because if you have the uh, Mauritania Legs 4 and the Slayer Contract, that's 30% bonus Slayer XP. Which is much better than killing them in Kirtle's Dungeon, which has 0% bonus Slayer XP. Um, so the best place to kill them, I've found, is to cross this plank. I believe it. you need 72 agility or 73 agility to cross it, something like that. It's mid-70s, basically. Um, if you don't have the agility level, you can kill them right below where I am. So uh, just don't cross the plank and instead go over the bridge and gargoyles are down there. So you do want to summon your Steel Titan. Um, make sure you restore your summoning before you come here. I can just restore with the comp cape. Um, and you want to make sure your um, left click option on the familiar options is attack. And then you want to have the Steel Titan attack and use your Steel of Legends scrolls. And so killing gargoyles with this method... I found is 147k Slayer XP per hour. Just keep in mind this is with pretty much the maximum possible damage and uh, using the Steel Titan and all. Just keep in mind that um, sometimes these little bushes can get in your way and your Steel Titan will refuse to attack the gargoyles and that can get really annoying. There really is not much to look out for here in terms of drops. The only things that are really worth picking up are Rune Helms, Granite Mauls, and Mystic Tops, none of which you'll get too often, maybe one or two of them per task. So for the most part, it's just kill the Gargoyles as fast as possible, and this is excellent Slayer XP, one of the best Slayer tasks in the game, and I'd always highly recommend doing this one. Um, just remember to put the Steel of Legend Scrolls or Iron Within Scrolls, if you're using an Iron Titan, in your Slayer Helm, and occasionally your uh, Steel Titan or Iron Titan will use them by himself. But also always remember just to uh, right click the familiar options and do cast Steel of Legends pretty often too. And that will, you know, allow your Steel or Iron Titan to cast additional ones and do a lot more damage against the Gargoyles. 
Also, when your Steel Titan is in melee range, she will use the melee attack, which is um, often a lot more effective on the Gargoyles than the range attack is, opposed to Water Fiends, where you always want him to be using the range attack and not the melee attack. Um, but anyway, the Gargoyles have such low defense that your Steel Titan will always hit quite well against them and will do a lot of damage. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Just remember to not forget your Rock Hammer like I always do, and good luck with your Gargoyles task. Have fun with getting about 147k Slayer XP per hour. This place is insane and really good XP. I would always recommend doing this task if you are looking for that Slayer XP per hour. And that's about all for this guide. Farewell.